Are you ready to take 3D and After Effects and create some of the best visual motion graphics? Well, in just a few minutes, you'll be able to confidently create amazing 3D work that will automatically make you a pro. As always, this is incredibly easy to do, so let's get started. All right, obviously we're going to explore several different ideas that will give you the power to create anything with 3D text, like this 360 degree rotating title. Now, before we do anything crazy and blow things up, as if we just lost all of our money in Vegas, uh, we need to set up our scene for beautiful 3D work, and I'm speaking from experience. So go to your composition settings and set your 3D renderer to advanced 3D and click okie dokie. So now you can type out your text and I'm using the typeface Morganite. When your title's ready, you can make the layer 3D and go into the extrusion depth and then increase the amount. Also, while we're here, my favorite bevel style is convex. Now we have some 3D text, but we need to set up our scene for lighting success. So let's create a white solid layer, which will be our floor. And of course, be sure to set the layer to 3D and set the X rotation to 90 degrees. And if we go to two views and set one of the views to right or left, we can then accurately position the floor underneath our text. Then just increase the scale of the floor like there's no tomorrow and feel free to add a light gray background as well. Okay, this is coming together, but not yet presentable. So let's introduce lighting and create an environment light. And in just a few moments, this will look amazing, but in order to use an environment light, you need an HDR image. You can easily search for free HDR eyes and I'll link the one that I'm using in this video. But with your HDR imported, you can then set the source of your light to that image and boom, instant transformation. You should adjust the light intensity and the rotation to get the look that you want. However, the most important setting is to go into your title layer and make sure cast shadows are enabled. And I told you your scene will look amazing in just a few moments because of shadows. Now, if you're having any shadow problems, go into your composition settings, go to options and click fit the scene and this will solve all your problems. So the scene is set up and now you can replicate these steps for future designs. But now we need to discuss animation, which is ridiculously easy. So what's cool is that you can go into the animate options and click enable per character 3D. Then proceed to change any of these parameters and change the initial value. Then just animate the range selector from zero to 100%. And you can also randomize the order of the animation. Now, I've oversimplified this process, so experiment with the different parameters, but you should create a camera, and then you can cycle through the different camera tools here at the top to change the perspective. Uh, and you also may animate the camera's position and point of interest to add movement. Congratulations, that's all the primary concepts you need to know about 3D typography. However, next I wanna show you how to create this 3D rotating title and even this falling individual letters graphic. But first, before we move on to our next technique, be sure to pick up our free motion duck templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro. And if you find yourself needing to save precious time on all your projects, we have over 35,000 templates to help you produce amazing work with the link below. All right, we're back in this thing. What we wanna do is create a circular mask with the ellipse tool on our title layer. Essentially, we want our title to revolve around this circle. So navigate to path options and set the path to that mask. And oh boy, believe me when I say this is normal. So go to the X rotation and set it to negative 90 degrees. Now with enabled per character 3D, you can add the rotation from the animate menu Set the X rotation here to positive 90 degrees. And at this point, you'll probably need to adjust the Y position so the title is sitting nicely on that floor. To fill this perfectly, feel free to copy and paste your title inside that same title layer. Uh, and to rotate this thing, you can Alt click the stopwatch for first margin and use the time asterisk 200 expression. So as a pro tip, you can even change the color of one of your titles for further design. And if you want, feel free to duplicate this entire title, move it up, and change the expression to negative 200 to stack upon your design. But overall, I hope you like this because I spent my entire Friday night to figure out how to do this. For falling individual letters, all you need is one letter and the ability to animate the position of the layer from the top to the bottom of your composition. Then feel free to animate the rotation values and repeat this process for other letters. Uh, and you can also use the loop out expression to loop the animation. So you only need to create a few uh, letter variations. And there goes my Saturday. Just kidding. I hope you enjoyed this video and always be creating.